Let's be grateful we're not out there shopping right now. We've got this opportunity to train our minds. It takes the right environment, it takes the right information, and it takes the willingness to learn. All these things have to come together for us to have this opportunity. Some people come and have the opportunity, but they don't want to take it. Other people want to have the opportunity, but they can't find it. So you've got this opportunity right now. Make the most of it. Because the mind does need training. All kinds of pleasures out in the world, all kinds of pains out in the world. And if you use them in an unskillful way, the pleasures can harm you and the pains can harm you. But if you learn how to look at things in the, from a skillful direction, okay, then you can use the pains to your advantage. You can learn from pain to figure out why is it the pain weighs the mind down. Does it really have to push us around so much? Is there some way that there can be pain but the mind doesn't have to suffer from it? That's a skill. The same with pleasure. When pleasure comes, all too often we get overcome by it and we get careless. And then we start doing stupid things. But on the other hand, we can learn how to take some pleasures and use them as tools in training the mind as well. When the Buddha talked about having a middle path between self-torture and sensual indulgence, he didn't mean just kind of middling pleasures and middling pains. He meant learning how to learn from your pleasures, learn from your pains. So you can lift the mind above them, and you can use them as tools. Like the pleasure of meditation. Get the mind centered in the body. Get the mind focused on the breath in a way that the breath feels comfortable, feels good inside. You can use that to counteract all kinds of temptations out in the world. When you feel like doing something you know is not right, but part of you wants to have some pleasure right away, okay, go to the pleasure that comes from the meditation. That's a skill that's really worth developing. So it takes some time to train the mind so it treats its pains intelligently and treats its pleasures intelligently. And when you can do that, you've taken care of a lot of the problems in the mind right there. <laughs>